Hello and a very warm welcome once again everyone to Al Amirat Ground in Oman. This is a match number 26 and it's coming between Azeba 11 and Khuwaid Warriors. Well, it is uh, Azeba 11 who won the toss and they will be bowling first. Khuwaid Warriors, they have a few changes in their side. Muzahir Raza, Muzaffar, Danish Muhammad, Sayyid Amir Kaleem, Aditya, Sean Novak, Osama Ahmed, Adil Abbas, Aryan, Muhammad, Arafat Islam and... Menuddin Munir talking about Azeba 11, Jasim Ilahi, Imran Muhammad, Wasim Akhtar, Haytham Bahar, Rao Wakar, Sagheer Ahmed, Hamal Abdul Wahab, Muhammad Akil, Mehdi Hassan, Mansoor Ali, and Sofian Yusuf. Azeba 11 winning the toss, opening to ball first and to call out the game, having joined by Shoaib Ahmed in the com box. Are playing against each other. Azeba 11 taking on Kuwait Warriors. Azeba winning the toss earlier on and deciding to bowl first. Let's play, says uh, the umpire Kapil Venkatachalam. And Mansoor comes right arm over the wicket. First ball, some swing in the air. Just a gentle nudge towards mid wicket, and he'll scamper through for the first run of the game. Well, nicely played, straight down the ground. We'll clear the fielder and the ropes as well. We'll just have to wait for the umpire's signal. Yes, four runs for Osama. Difficult, but should have been taken. Played away on the onside. No chance for the fielder there. This will just go across the fence for four. So that is something that needs to be... Oh, that's a poor fielding. Poor fielding again. That, uh, did everything right to get to the ball there, but uh, just couldn't stop it in time. Jasim, feel to it. When they turn up, you don't know who's going to be the captain. Get up in the air. Should be taken. Keeper getting underneath. Takes the catch. It's nice and simple. That's the end for Osama Ahmed. 17 runs of 17, what he could bag only. Sayyid Amir Kaleem, he's gone big. And the fielder will take it. Sagir Ahmed. He's the man who doesn't drop too many. And eventually, Sayyid Amir Kaleem, he goes back. He's gone straight. He's gone big. And he's gone for a max. Sean Nowak. Banged it short. And will pay the price. Maximum. Adil Abbas hits this one out of the park. Last ball. Bolt him. No need to go across the line. Should have just stood there and played it straight. We saw what Sean Nowak did when he played straight. Adil Abbas going across and paying the price. Kuwait Warriors lose yet another wicket. Sean Nowak. He's gone big again. And how big is that? Can someone get the ball from outside? We need to have a man deposited outside the stadium so he can get the ball back in. 90 meter hit. Slower up in the air. And takes the catch. It's Sahir Ahmed once more. He's taking the catch. Great catch. Well, yeah. It was Jasim who had dropped the catch earlier on the bowling of Sagir Ahmed. It was a sitter. And he despite dropping few catches, misfielding, overthrows. But I think it's A by 11. Catch! Still managed to do well. That's another one. Ah! Same fielder, same bowler, but a different batter. Jasim gets on a hat trick. Two and two for Jasim. Eight runs here. We take the score to 77. Try and get it to 80 if you can. Maybe a couple of boundaries. He's gone up. Wicket keeper says mine. No, but there's a fielder behind him. Mohamed Imran. He will take the catch and they will finish it off. 72 what uh, Khmer Warriors could bag only. So top four getting to the double figures but no contribution from the remainers. Also tells you and how over-dependent they are on Amir Kaleem. He fails today and literally no one stands up. Mansoor Ali 
Wasim Akhtar didn't pick wickets but were very, very economical. Jasim Milahi, two wickets there. Again, economical. No one actually going about nine. And that is mighty amazing. Sagir Ahmed, pick of the bowlers by far. Two overs, 13 and picking two wickets. So, 73 is what uh, the target is uh, set by Khoer Warriors. And when we come back, we'll see as by 11 going for the chase. Oh, what a great delivery that is. Absolutely brilliant. Taking it from outside off and will be racing away towards the fence. Four runs. Pretty wide ish delivery. Primary role was that of a fast bowler. He's been taken for runs. Back to back boundaries. And. Well, that's, that definitely is the case. Oh, what a good shot that is. Right from under the bat, Haitim Bahar has put that ball. Bahar, amazing hit. Six runs for Haitim. The skipper strikes. Last delivery. 15 already of the over. And over fine leg for a four. Expensive over comes to an end. 19 of that. 25 for Azeba. 11 for one after three. Especially after injuries. Not always. They are 100%. And there's the example of that. Not 100%. You will bowl a little haywire. Might just give away a few extras. Elder brother, definitely. He's gone big. Phenomenal hit there. Beyond the stands. If there was someone sitting in the stand, maybe could have taken the catch. And make that some more. Make that 21. Because this over is a game-changing over. Yeah, he's but a hard-working guy. Neil, I've known him really well. Oh, meanwhile, it's a dismissal. And Haitham Bahar will take his walk out. Sayyid Amir Kaleem comes in and uh, dispatches that one wicket-taking delivery that he was waiting for. <laughs> That's big. And straight to the hands. Prayers are heard. And Amir Kaleem strikes again. He takes three wickets. What a moment. That is tongued and gone over the rock for a maximum. One should take the charge and takes it for cleaner. Amal. They have enough and more deliveries to finish as they want to go big. And that's a huge six. The scores have leveled. Azair by 11 definitely cannot lose from here. Yeah, seven fielders inside the ring, saving the singles. Hey! Charges down and uh, right in the gap. That would be a single, and with that single, Azair by 11 marks uh, their position into the next round. You're right. Winning this comfortably in seven overs. Azeba 11 has won by 7 wickets. Let's have a look at uh, the batting guard for Azeba 11. Not too many batters used. Mansoor surprisingly got out today early. But Vakar and Hatim, they stuck around. And Wasim and Hamal, they ensured that they did not need any more men to come and score. 73 for 3 in 7 overs. Almost every better, yeah. In the bowling department, very impressive. Mohammad Arafat Islam right from the beginning. But to he pulled only one over, couldn't get going. And that's been a big debate for us that he should continue bowling the third over or not. So nothing impressive, but uh, only one man doing the most of the damage was Sayyid Amir Kaleem. Picked up three wickets and that will take him uh, to 15 wickets in the tournament and he's leading by far. Alright, so this is a match summary here. Kuwait Warriors, 72 for 7. Didn't really kick off. Sayyid Amir Kaleem failing with the bat today. Sagir Ahmed right on the top. Two wickets for him. But Azeb by 11, they had a very, very easy task cut out. 73 they scored in seven overs. Rawakar top scoring with 26. Hatham giving company on 19. And Sayyid Hamer Kaleem didn't perform with the bat for the Warriors, but eventually ended up picking up three wickets in the second innings. Azeb by 11 winning this one by seven wickets.